series leader Darren Trelaw with me now. Darren, uh, five points clear going into the final leg and obviously looking to regain your crown this evening. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, we, the main aim tonight is to win tonight and that's uh, another win for us. We like to, we like to clean, clean sheet the series but uh, we had a bad one at Oxford so if we can win tonight we've won three out of the four as well as get the series so that'll be great. What do you think of the new banking over on this far corner? Surely going to make even more spectacular racing out of the other white this evening. It should be. It, uh, it'll be a lot better for the sidecars. You, you get a bit of advantage here. I think you can use the, the banking and get a bit of speed going down the back straight. So I think it's going to make it faster and uh, another opportunity to pass. I think you've showed your versatility this year. The fact you had to borrow Matt Terrell's bike in Oxford, that you still made the B fine. You must be delighted with that on strange equipment. Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Matthew Terrell for that. Um, without that, you know, we wouldn't be in the hunt. We wouldn't be in the lead of the series anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be chasing. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we, we didn't get through the B final and uh, got second in that and got 14 points. So I think 14 points were really critical. Scott Christopher, obviously, is there or thereabouts. He's probably a main danger again this evening. Yeah, like Andrew, because uh, he missed the first round, I was sort of not worried about him. You know, I want to beat him, but my main concern is Scotty. He's uh, the closest, next closest to me, so yeah, the main aim is to finish in front of Scotty. And despite lots of machine problems, John Howells has been keeping the British flag flying very well this series. Yeah, John, uh, he's, he's, had a, you know, he's had a bit of trouble too, but he keeps sneaking into them A finals and B finals and getting points, and you know, it just shows you, you've just got to get points every meeting, and you're still up there with a chance. Is this the best series you've taken part in over here in England? It's definitely the better. I've done the last three and uh, I think it's definitely the better one. Um, it's definitely the closest one. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say it's the better one I've done. Thanks, everyone. We'll very best luck tonight. Cheers. Thank mate. you. Second place man, Scott Christopher. Scott, six points behind Darren Trelaw. It doesn't seem a lot, but the way he's going, it's going to take a lot of pulling back, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, six behind, it's, it's not really that much, but um, a guy in that's riding in the way he is, it's going to be very hard to catch. Um, probably just need a little bit of luck on the side. Overall, are you very pleased the way things have gone for you throughout this series? Um, def definitely we've had a good series. Um, just the final in the first round it could have probably cost us in the end, but um, overall I'm definitely happy with the way we've went. If you make the A final tonight, do you think that the choice of, the choice of gates could be imperative? It's obviously very important with Somerset on Friday. Yeah, it definitely is. The tracks over in England here really helps if you've got the gate one. Um, especially when you've got four top quality riders there, it's really hard to go around someone. Apart from Collier Street, this is the next biggest track you've raced on this series. Is that going to be to your liking or do you prefer the smaller types of tracks? Um, I really like Somerset. I found that a good track because it was wider. Um, the straight, obviously the straights being wider makes it better so you can obviously move your bike out and pass something around the outside. Um, the narrow straights here may not help but it's got wide corners and big long straights so it should be good. I, I enjoyed myself last time here. I think Somerset there were so many racing lines it was untrue. Different guys were trying so many different lines weren't they? Yeah it was. Um, I know myself in my second heat I rode around the outside for a couple of laps but just didn't get around there in the end but it was good because you could use a different line to pass some. Any special preparation with machines and on to try and catch down? Just did a few little things that we've learnt from our time riding, just minor adjustments to pick up more drive and, and just to get the bike around the track a little bit better. Andrew Cleave was saying that Somerset, because it was so close to the sea, it was possibly affecting his machine. Do you have any difference to your bikes at Somerset? Um, obviously in the final they did get very hot. We were you know, running around for a long while there. Um, but generally they, they were pretty good. It was pretty much the same as I find at home. I don't change the setup much at all. I mean, Thanks, Adam. We'll wish the best luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Reigning champion John Halsey with me now. John, despite so many machine problems, you're still there or thereabouts and very much into the chance tonight. Yeah, that's right. We've had, I think it's four engines go this year, but the, the, the Speedway engine's going good. But a little uh, mistake last, last week. The, uh, there's nine clutch plates in there and one of them broke, which let us down in the final, but we put a new one in there today, so hopefully it'll be okay. Would you like to just tell our viewers exactly what you had to do on the start line at Somerset on Friday? Yeah, well we went to the line and um, I think that the tapes didn't go up right, uh, properly and then the clutch obviously they get hot 
and then um, we've gone back round again and then the clutch sort of just disappeared completely. It just, it just felt as if, you know, someone had sort of cut the, the hose or something. But then when I stripped it down, the plate has literally just snapped in half and gone down into the sump. So it, there's not no clutch there, it just, just, just doesn't work. And obviously you, you, you signalled to the starting marsh you've got to take a rolling start, but really left you a long way behind when you let the tapes off, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. But I mean, at the end of the day, you could have put me out, you know, and we still would have got the fourth place, but it was just nice to be in there and try and have a little go, but it was too far, you know, to come from, really. I think also the choice of gates was vital at Somerset for that final, wasn't it? That's right. I mean, we, we crept in in last place, so we, we got gate four, but the heat prior to that, we had a real good gate from there, and we, and we, we gated and won it, so I wasn't sort of too worried about that. I just wanted to get in there and try and mix it with them, really, in the final. Overall, it's been another tremendous series. I think Paul Miller takes a lot of credit for organisers. It seems to go from strength to strength every year, doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, what, what Paul does. I mean, if it wasn't for Paul, then you know we wouldn't have anything. I mean, like, when today finishes, really for us, the English guys, that's our season finished. But the Aussies go home and their season just started. But yeah, if it wasn't for Paul, we wouldn't have a lot at all. Very pleasing. The, you're the reigning champion. You're there or thereabouts. Ivan Matthews has been there or thereabouts. Matt Former or Andy Wilson. They, we're really getting very close to the Aussies now, aren't we? That's right. I mean. They, they there's little surprises every, every meeting now really, There's someone's always beat an Aussie, which is good, whereas before they come over here and we didn't get a look in, but no, I, th I think the last three or four years we've come on leaps and bounds, you know. New look track tonight with the bank on the top corner, should produce some spectacular corners? Yeah, that's right, we had the British Championships down here, I've, I've rode, I think I did a one race anyway before I um, got excluded, but uh, no, it was good, yeah, the, yeah, the, the bank is good. Best of luck tonight, John. I'm thought that all the British fans will be supporting you tonight. Lovely, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> New Zealand champion Nick Edmonds. Nick, very much a learning curve for you over in this series in England this year. Oh, it has been. Uh, I wished I brought my own machinery over, but we didn't have the time. Uh, it was sort of a spur of the moment thing a couple of months back. and. We had it. We've, you know, we've, we went good at the the, uh, the first meeting at Collier Street, and we've had a few problems since. We had an engine blow up. Uh, it's just a matter of working, working with everything. You know, we've borrowed this off people. We've had a lot of people help us out. So yeah, no, it has been a very good learning curve. Is it the smallness of the speedway track to that court you had at all? No, it's uh, been no track problems. It's all just been machinery. So every track obviously is a new track. You, this track has been altered since last season. So you're looking forward to the Isle of Wight this evening. Yes, uh, the track out there looks really good. Now, uh, will you come back for another series next year after experiencing the what you, over here this, this season? Yeah, I'd like to. I really would like to. It's just a matter of um, funds and, and just uh, exploring it a bit more now. I know what I'm up against, so yeah, I, I probably would. Have you been impressed the way the Australians have gone over here this year? Yeah, the Aussies are quick. I knew they were quick before I even came, so yeah. And obviously our top boys are equally as good, aren't they? Oh, they are, definitely. Definitely. It's just uh, unfortunate that our machinery hasn't been going and we actually haven't been as competitive as I would like to be, you know, and so it's just the way motorsport is. Apart from the machinery, what's the basic difference between the track duration over here to back in New Zealand? Not a great deal. Uh, there's a couple of tracks that are very, very similar to the tracks here. Nice and loose sort of uh, shale sort of surface. Um, a lot of other ones are big, uh, very grippy clay tracks that cars and the like race on. So they're similar in size, just some of them have got different surfaces. Do you think if you had, if you had your own machine here you could find much better show this time? Oh, I, I definitely would. I, I just would, um, I, you know, no one says that you can win all the time, but I, I think I'd uh, be more competitive, be able to get out of the gate and go, you know, just hopefully tonight. I think we've sorted our problems, so we'll just see how we go from there. What's the main thing you think you've learned over here in this series, racing in England? Uh, I wouldn't say I've learnt a great deal as far as out on the track, we've just been battling with our machinery so much, so I couldn't really put my finger on anything there. Thanks Sam, we'll wish have a good last night okay, tonight. Then. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Ivan Matthews with me now. Ivan, along with John Holter, you've been the main guy pushing these uh, three Aussies throughout this series. Yeah, we're doing our best. Um, there is uh, hard riding and as fast as ever. Uh, I like to think we're getting closer, but uh, Time will tell, I guess. Um, this is the last opportunity, so we'll be giving it everything we've got tonight. Do you think you're a little bit too far behind to win? I mean, you made that B final again on Friday, but uh, is the point just a bit too much to pull back? Yeah, I think basically the, certainly the, the top guys, at first and second, would need to almost drop out of their first race for us to be able to win it. Um, but we're still with a fighting chance of getting up there in the top three, I think, so um, that's what we're going for. You must be delighted with your form. You've always been there or thereabouts, virtually in every race throughout the entire series. Yeah, I was um, a bit disappointed with Tom Ridge. I threw away the B final, really, that should have got me into the A. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I mean, last week was just unfortunate, one of those things, uh, being turned around uh, in an early heat. But no, I, mean, I think we, we're happy with the form we've been showing. 
and we've made some changes to the bike through the series that appear to be working. So uh, it's uh, still all to go for. With there's still some, uh, you know, still races to win. So. Some spectacular racing at Somerset. Tremendous lines you guys are finding out there. Yeah, it's always a good cycle track. It's uh, short straights, long corners, uh, lots of different lines, as you say, and there's usually some dirt on it. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good track to ride on. Totally different track tonight. Long straights, bit of banking on the corner. Yeah, this is this is a fast track. I mean, it's, it, the, the banking here has certainly helped. We rode here at the British Championships early on in the year. And it certainly helped this corner. It makes it a more um, challenging track because the corners are both different now. Um, but uh, again, everybody always enjoys coming here because there's a bit of room on the track, which is what we need really to make it good racing. So. Always a good crowd here. It's a tremendous way to finish the series, isn't it? Yeah, and it's nice to be able to ride in front of a big crowd. I mean, uh, we enjoy our racing, whatever. But if there's only a few hundred people around, then it's uh, it, you know, inevitably it doesn't have the same atmosphere. And uh, you get the holiday makers here, and I think a lot of people see this as a you know now if there's one meeting they do go to in the Super Cup, it's this one, and that's why it attracts the crowds. Any plans to go abroad racing this season? Uh, yeah, we're doing. Um, Psycho support at Morris S at the, one of the world long track rounds in a few weeks, and that's it at the moment. That's all that we know of, anyway. So. And looking forward to uh, the Super Cup series back in England next year. Yes, hopefully, hopefully, and uh, a few more Aussies back over again. Thanks, Sam. We'll wish the best luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Simon Wall, Kevin Jones, coming towards the end of this bike broker series. Are you pleased with what you've produced so far? Uh, at the end of round two, yes. Um, the third round at Somerset was a bit different. We had trouble with the bike, with the cars, the first two meets. Third heat that we thought we had it sussed, uh, got out the gate, had a very good second to Duncan and then nicely fluffed up again on the, on the fourth heat. But coming here to the Isle of Wight, um, previously to this we was out here last Thursday evening, won the ACU Benevolent meeting for the Speedway Bikes. It's a track we do like, Kevin and I really get on well here, uh, it just seems to click a bit so uh, touch wood we can have a good one tonight. So you may well be a good spoiler tonight then? I uh, very much hope so, very much hope so. Kevin, what's it like tucked in behind this guy? Oh, uh, Simon's taught me a lot. He's, he's an ex-passenger and still a passenger on the grass. And say so Simon's taught me a hell of a lot. And I've got a lot, a lot of trust in Simon. And I think it works the same for him. He's got a lot of trust in me. And at the end of the day, you've got to have a bit of trust in each other. Otherwise, who knows what's going to happen. But say, no, no, Simon, I'm very, very trustful of him. You've probably been asked this one a thousand times before. But what's the main difference to passion on the speedway to on the grass track? It's a lot smoother for a start. Um, just everything really it's a lot quicker a lot smoother um, you've got a bigger runner off on the grass but say, I prefer the speedway immensely it's 100 times better than the grass but I just love my racing I just love it Simon I think it's fair to say Paul Miller's really brought this series on it's very professional it's a tremendous turnout now and it seems to go from strength to strength every year doesn't oh it? unbelievably Paul's done a wonderful job and he has done for two nearly three years now and with the bike broker as well they've done like, a tremendous job with what they've done Paul pulls out all the stops and he's got a good entourage behind him as well, good support. So, um, so yeah, he's, uh, hopefully we can carry it on again next year. Uh, I know that there's talks about it, so yeah, all credit to Paul and his, and his team to, for a brilliant series, brilliant four rounds. I say, it isn't only the racing, everything has got to be spot on, he's so professional right down to the oh, last exactly, thing. Oh, exactly, exactly. He makes sure you're there, he's, he's ringing and yeah, you're going to be there, thank you very much, or your reserve or whatever, and he just makes sure everything, and, and that's Paul, he just, whether it's a business or pleasure, and hopefully this is more pleasure than business for Paul, but yeah, and I just hope it goes well for him, and I think this series has. Thanks so much, gentlemen. We're looking forward to, to have a good one tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers. Cheers. Paul Whiteland with me now. Paul, it's fair to say I think you're the surprise man of the series. You must be absolutely delighted the way things have gone for you. I'm overwhelmed. It's been really good. Uh, riding mixed bikes been terrific this year. It's uh, so much better than what mine was. Not only has it been good in the Super Cup, you've also had a tremendous season on the grass as well, haven't you? We're having a really good run in the grass. Um, I can't say no more than that, it's going really good. You look at the track tonight with a bit of banking on this corner, is yeah. that going to make it a bit spectacular? Uh, last time here it's had the banking, we, it rode really good. Um, that was the first ride with Tony, so we've had a few more since then and we're riding really good together now, so I think we should go even better now. Overall, which round gave you the most pleasure of the three you've ridden so far? It had to be Somerset. Even though we didn't finish in the B final, it was so much fun. All the racing was good, it was fair. I really enjoyed that one. Small track, but the number of lines that you lads found out there was unbelievable, wasn't it? It was. There was passing everywhere, you know, different lines in the corners all the time, down the straights. It was really good. Not too bright under the track lights there. How'd you cope with that? That was fine. I didn't, I didn't mind it. You know. 
it's all right. Any special plans for tonight, or just go out and enjoy yourself like you have been throughout the series? Just enjoy myself, yeah. Try and win, but enjoy myself. Main aim to try and make that A final for the oh, final one? Definitely, yeah. Well, I think it's fair to say we're definitely getting closer to the, these Aussie boys on these speedway tracks, aren't we? We're getting there. There's a little bit further to go, but uh, some of our top rates, the, they're nearly there. Thanks, Adam Wilbur. Have a good night tonight. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. got to finish higher than third place if Scott Christopher wins it. So yes, I have tried to work it all out to see how it all permeates out and I can tell you that uh, really I mean the riders will perhaps be thinking not about the overall series, they'll leave that to Darren Chador, Scott Christopher, John Halsey and perhaps Andrew Cleave will have something to say tonight because of course there is prize fun for winning the final round. The fascinating thing about the series has been that we know the ability of Andrew Cleave and Dave Power. They're over here for their second year and they've been riding brilliantly. But 
if you looked at the point scoring, you'll see they scored a big fat zero. Round one at Tunbridge. The reason being, they didn't take part. They've only taken part in round two, three, and now again in round one, four. They won the second round. They got second in the third round. They need to know. So the riders make their way to the line and the referee is ready to go as we see in red. Ida Matthews and Nick Stace for the first time tonight. In blue, for white number 20 grade three. In green, Lee Smith and Carl Squirrel. And in yellow, John Horsey, Peter Benny.
0.483. Riding in yellow, of course, number one, Darren Killor, and just in face dead, maximum three points. Two points to the riders in green, James Rogers and Mark Corsa. Riding in red, Rob Wilson, Eddie and Well, one point. No score for the riders in blue, number three, Craig Cheatham and Kieran Arnell. The winning time, interesting one for the pit crews, 74.1 the winning time for Darren Trelaw, 74.1.
Tremendous season. I know you're a very modest young man, but it's been a tremendous season not only in the bike broker super cup but on the grass tracks as well for this year. But you have shot the fame, haven't you? It's been an excellent game, really enjoyed it. So what are you looking for? We've lost the oh we're back in <laughs> Definitely. Best, and best up let's get you in a late final. Well, we didn't see a tank at all, everybody here was saying, isn't it? We could walk. Hey, well, I'll tell you, mate. 
You've been in touch with the referee, or is it this no speaking to the referee at all tonight? We're no longer allowed to speak to the referee. So have you voiced your opinion to the part of the course, or is that what is, what's going to happen about this? Or oh, there's nothing at all you can do? It has to wait for the time. So it's one ride down and no points, which means there's four hard rides to try and get the points you've sure got in five. Yes, yeah, that's all we can do. So that will take all the time for us. And of course, all the, the other problem is everybody's had a feeler ride, you've missed your first ride, so the second ride is actually your first ride is trying to get and all sorts of things. That's right, and from what we've been told, we're out of the worst game as well. Just a load of crap in game one. So all in all, not very happy, Terry? No. Okay, thanks, and we'll look. Time's very, very quick tonight. Yeah, I don't follow the times very much, but I've heard that everyone, well, the three of us went under the old track record. Um, it could be to a bit with the banking, and there is a lot of drive out there, it's good. 
Oh. Apart from the race of Julian, you've been able to watch it every single race. What have you learned actually from watching other competitors out there? Um, I find that over here I have to watch the first couple of rides, obviously, because you don't get a practice and you see what's going on. Um, I think our first ride is nearly in practice for us, just feeling it all out. Yeah. I asked the same question, are there any changes to the bikes up that first ride, or are you happy the way everything went? No, we'll just leave it the same for the next one. I'm pretty Aussies, that's actually good crash in the one race. Ivan Matthews thrown in as well, I think you said that's 8.15, that could be a very, very crucial race because third or last there could dent the chance of a place in the eighth final. Yeah, yeah definitely, it's probably just like the final, you know, so it's going to be a good race. Coming to the end of the series, have you enjoyed, enjoyed yourself back over here in England? Yeah, definitely, the people are very nice to us, um, they look after you well, um, it's a great series, Paul's got along with Brock Bike Rogers, so it's very good. Hopefully we'll see you back again next season? Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, I'm with Bill Bloom and Scott Christopher. Running in blue. And we look anxiously to see where they have appeared from the pits. At the moment, I can't see Matt from Roller and Andy Wilson. Running in green, outfit number 12. Maximum points on their first ride. Andrew Cleave and Dave Power. Running in yellow, number 14. Duncan Telvers and Rob Patterson. problems with the reserves ferry will make this ferry right on the racing circuit in the interest of safety the race being brought to a halt and they had to be three quarters race distance so the race awarded a win for the riders in green number 12 Andrew Cleave and Dave Power making it two from two two points for the riders in yellow number 14 Duncan Tolhurst and Rob Patterson one point for the riders in red James Rogers and Mark Corsa no winning time there of course for six, so no winning time, the race awarded after three, stop in the interest of safety. So I just wonder if they've been sitting in that pit box watching what happened in that last heat because we've got coming out riding in red. Scott Christopher and Fred Coppy who also had a win first time out. Great to see them over here in the UK, a very very talented crew. 
Riding in blue, John Halsey and Jason Dayers was winners of the Super Cup 2003. Riding in green, Craig Cheon and Kieran Arnell. And riding in yellow, Nick Edmonds and Paul James. Two points go for the riders in blue, John Halsey and Jason Glenny. One point for the rider in green, Craig Cheatham and Kieran Arnell, a busy passenger tonight. No score for that stop for Nick Edmonds and Paul James, the riders in yellow. The winning time, interestingly enough, 74.3. 74.3. Again, the Australians hammer last year's track record. Number 8.3, 74.1 was the fastest we've seen so far. The spot showing that it can get just as quick on this circuit as going The riders in Heat 8 go in red. Peter Lloyd and Terry Manley. Thank you for the all the first time tonight. Running in blue. Gary Jackson and Carl Hughes. Also out for the first time effectively. The riders in green. Matt Terrell and Sean Yates. The riders in yellow. Ivan at you and next stage.
That is uh, contrast looks has been a fair bit of pain here from the uh, inside of the track. If somebody get any definite news, we'll obviously pass it on to you uh, exactly what happened. But uh, Mick just telling the ambulance personnel he knows exactly where it hurts. But, uh, and the first place of Mick Stace, the passenger of uh, Arnold Matthews. Mick. So, <laughs> when exactly has happened? Could you, you know exactly what happened there? Someone come across. And next thing we turned over, so I'm not too sure. I was concentrating on the first corner. <laughs> well, he's fit to continue, do you think? Sure, yeah, he wants to check me over in the ambulance. Okay, thanks, Mick. Ladies and gentlemen, Mick Stace, there's another big round of applause for Mick Stace. That was a nasty accent. Glad to see Mick up on his feet. Thank you very much.
Victor, we give you maximum three points confirmed for Elford riding in blue, Darren Gillard, just in face there. Riding in green, two points for Norman Spear. Riders in red, one point, Steve Smith and Carl Squirrel. And no score there for the riders in yellow. John Hesclock has the importance. 74.2 was the winning time, 74.2. Riding in red, Roger Wing, Chris Van Goddard, riding in blue, Simon Moore and Kevin Jones, in green, all white young and Tony Bates V, and in yellow, Rob Wilson and Ian Well. So we now know we've got all three of the Australian moving through on six points after two rides. Well, we know that all white young and Tony Bates V had a tremendous start in that very first race of the day. Oh, 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 oh,
raced all our heats, we could have well made the final, so it was more of a point to prove than anything else. And I said to Andy, so I don't really care where we come, I just want to go as fast as I can for four laps and just get that crash out of my mind and just get some gas, really. What's the problem, Andy? You're holding down his rib cage or something, what's the problem? The mat, sorry. No, it's uh, my shoulder. Um, it felt like it popped out, because well, something popped back in as I stood up, but uh, my shoulder's hurting and just me, um, me hip. Otherwise, I'm not too bad. We've got to stop rattling now, anyway. Tremendous series. Unfortunately, in the A final, no problems in the A final at Collier Street. You're determined to do well tonight. You're still there or thereabouts. And that really was disaster what happened in that second ride, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a shame. We've had a, a few slight changes to the bike. And uh, with that heat we just done there, it felt really good. So we're starting to set the bike up now in the right direction. And, um, Hopefully the results will start coming in now. Andy, you're looking for punishment. Now that you're going back out with Matt, you've also been out with Ivan Matthews as well. Yeah, well, as you saw, I've had a, a bit of an incident in his race, and Nick was unfortunately unable to, to go out with him. Um, I was given me chances to go on the back with him when I was first starting to ride, so any chance I get to help him out, and it's, it's that kind of sport, you know. If, if, you, if your mates need a hand to get out and do what they need to do, then you do what you need to do to, to help him out. I know you're watching all the races, it's pretty spectacular, but I think it was banking on the stop corner, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was, it's always been a good track to watch, but since they've made the changes and put the banking in, it's, it's created a few more lines around this, this top end, and it, it does make it a little bit more spectacular, so yes, it's good. Awesome to watch Darren Trelaw. I mean, there were four top crews there, he made the start, and he was gone, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best. I mean, the Australians, they, they know their stuff, and... We're learning, we're watching what they do, and, and we're showing them we're, we're there, and we can beat them when we have to, and we'll catch them up. They'll be, they'll be a series, and, and they'll be struggling to keep it together, I'm sure. Now, I came over with your mum and dad today, so just let your mum and dad know you're okay. Yeah, I'm alright, you know. But dad wants to calm down a bit, you know, he's got high blood pressure, and he comes over and he's all wound up, you know, he's, don't want to be seeing him going off in an ambulance, I mean, he's on it, alright, so, you know, look after himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Palmer and Andy Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. I on the inside where he likes to be. Darren Trelaw and Justin Plaisted. They have had three rides so far. They've had 
Three wins. Riding in blue, Roger Williams and Ray Goddard next to them. Riding in green, Nick Edmonds and Paul James. Riding in yellow, Matt Terrell and Sean Yates.
Maximum three for the riders in green are the next three and Carl Pugh. Two points go to the Antic Number 19, riders in yellow, Richard Moore and Rodney Spear. One point for Antic Number 6, Son of War and Tony Burns, the riders in red. No score for the riders in blue, James Rogers and Mark Corsa. 77.1 was the winning time, 77.1.
In blue, next to them, they've got the yellow and Terry Mack. In green, Rob Wilson and Ian Well. And in yellow, Andrew Cleave and Dave Bauer. Cheatham there, and if the bike comes fast, I can confirm that for you. Uh, 
market number 22. It is indeed the reserve um, market in England. In fact, has been excluded from the restart. He was the rider riding in the other. Yeah, not too bad, just obviously a bit disappointing. We couldn't find any grip out there, all the dirt is right outside, and as soon as we got it, we were just too close to the fence. Just couldn't do nothing about it. Not having a ride for a little while, we didn't sort of uh, get used to the track conditions and it's been moving out. It's very slippery to go there, obviously the other riders are all used to it now. But uh, we tried our best and had a good ride earlier, but it was really. But uh, I don't know what for really, but uh, um, you know, it's hard riding here tonight, everybody's after a bit of tape. Um, so, we're next to with the big boys and, you know, in second spot at the time of back in the road behind us. Couldn't even really know he was there. I knew that he was there, but not that close. And uh, I was sure he was going to try and come under me, so I went wide to cut fence and then he went in the fence. But I didn't certainly think to do it, but I might have some more clothes for him. Let us see him on beat.
Wilson and the Wilder set for Hawk Cup. the winning time, that was the B final. Darren Trelaw and Justin Placed we welcome them back this year and what a tremendous performance they put up this year. They walk slowly to the pips, to the pips, slowly to the start line. Colin, I know you're down there, it'll be interesting to see which gate they pick. I certainly for one will be thinking they'll go to that inside. Thank you very much, Jim. Um, so down to Justin Price, who did get first choice. Scott Christopher gets the uh, second choice. Uh, down to busy looking at the number two gate at the moment. And the passenger, Anthony Big in the grooves. For, uh, I've seen the feet gates turning through the best gates this evening. So it's straight away gone for gate number two. Darren just turning a quick look at gate number four. While well, Justin works frantically on uh, gate two. Not particularly interesting gate three at the moment. Well Colin, I think you need to push them on a bit, mate. Yeah, can you push on now we've got a ten o'clock here for you, so if you can push on please. Well, please get a little bit impatient, can you uh, quickly choose? Uh, gate two for Darren Trelaw and just in place the Scott Christopher next choice, please. Scott Christopher, next choice. Well, those that uh, have got to catch the bus and get back to oh, the, got the, 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 the ferry, so, so, uh, the bus won't go until the final checkered flag goes, but we need to get them on the line. So, uh, Quick as you can, be sorry to rush you, but the ferries won't work. So, I know it's a vital choice, because it's the eighth hour. It's, it's a very important choice. Rappers put the running light on for go, lads. Pauline got me. Don't run for Scott Customer. Paul, it's either three or four. You've got the choice between three or four. Three, gate three to Paul Whiteman. So Andrew Cleave has gate number four. So Darren Trelaw, Justin Blaisdy on gate two. Scott Christopher Trent Copy, gate one. Paul Whiteman, Tony Blaisman, gate three. And Andrew Cleave and Dave Power on gate number four for the big A final. Situation with Darren Trelaw wins it, he wins it overall. What can Scott Christopher do? Jim Burton takes better than mine, but I think if uh, Scott Christopher wins it and Darren Trelaw is possibly third, then Scott Christopher can win overall. Is that correct, Jim? Well, I was quickly doing the Third's not good enough. Actually, if Scott Christopher wins it, Darren Trelaw gets third, he's done it. So it's really a case of everybody else has got to work on behalf of Scott Christopher. He's alone got to win it, and uh, Darren has got to be back in that fourth place. If he g
second scores first behind Christopher takes it overall. And I think you know Darren as well as I do, Colin. They've been over here for four weeks. He's a very hard competitor. He won't be thinking about the overall really when he comes to this start line. He'll want to get another thousand pounds. He'll want to take three out of four of these rounds. Second well done fellas. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Ian and Jane Mills, uh, Home Space, uh, local gym and loading hand, Paul and James helping in the pits and William, and all the other competitors tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul Miller for such a good series and Bike Broker for back in the series. It's been great. We've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed. Third place, Andy Cleave and Dave Power. In second place, Scott Christopher and Trent Coppy. <laughs> Trent, what? Scott, just a quick word, we are pushed for time. Once again, he absolutely flew from the start, he couldn't get near him, could you? No, I knew he had to get a good gate out of one. And, you know, one's a good gate on these sort of tracks, but he's just a little bit too deep there. But I had to have a go. Trent, turn on the series, you must have enjoyed it. Oh yeah, it's always great coming over here. Um, the bike broker puts on a great show. Though. I can't believe they, they put so much effort into it. It just shows they put um, put put their money back to what, what makes them their money. So congratulations to them for doing that. Um, I'd like to thank Richie Moore and the Moore family for put, putting us up. 
Uh, they do a great job and Rising Sun Honda back at home for, for getting us here. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, second place, Scott Christopher and Trent Coppy. And your winners tonight, we'll have a word of them in a few moments, but just get them on the roster first of all. Tremendous performance on baby mates. Winner of the A final, Darren Trelaw and Justin Playstead. So the third to call in for first, second and third tonight. They've made up for the Speedway boys, the Sarah Rose, they've certainly made up for the Greenway sidecar this evening.